Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be covering the 2024 TCL QM8. I'm going to be going over the unboxing and first impression. But if you could do me a favor first by hitting that like button and the subscribe button, I greatly appreciate it. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the video. All right, here we go. Look at what we got here today, the TCL QM8. I've been waiting to get my hands on this 4K TV for a while, and today we're finally unboxing it together. Got to get this trusty box cutter, because you know this moment is about to get real when this comes out. Let's see what TCL has packed in here for us. Let's talk a little bit about what makes TCL QM8 such a powerhouse. This TCL latest flagship model is their 4K lineup featuring mini LED tech and quantum dots for those deep blacks and vibrant colors. It support HDR10, Dolby Vision, and 144Hz refresh rate for gamers out there. And here's the kicker, peak brightness that's supposed to be off the charts. All right, let's see what we got inside. So here we got the essentials, the remote, batteries, cords, screws, and instruction manual, all bundled together in one neat little package. But we'll put this all on the side for now because let's face it, we're here for the TV. And here we got the TV stand, two sturdy parts. If you're not wall mounting it, these will hold this TV display beautifully. As I am unboxing the TCL QM8, one thing I really want to say about TCL is they really went the extra mile when it comes to packaging is solid and always a good sign when making sure that your TV arrived in perfect condition. One thing when I noticed this when I'm unboxing it is, is that it's a lot of protection when it comes to the foam and even the front itself when it comes to making sure that the screen is not damaged, which is a very good sign, especially at the price point that is at right now. And definitely want to give a shout out to TCL, especially when it comes to packaging, because even the high end TVs doesn't have packaging like it does. The extra protection is definitely appreciated, especially when you're dealing with a bigger screen TV. Granted, it only had a 65 inch, but it's not just about the TV. It's about making sure that it arrives ready to give you that best experience possible. And TCL has done a really good job in this part and it's nothing to complain about, especially when it comes to the unboxing. Now let's get this setup going. First, we got to install the stand. It's pretty straightforward, but let me go ahead and do a walkthrough. With the TCL QM8 for the 65 inch, I think the stand is a little bit different for the bigger versions, but for the 65 inch that I'm doing the unboxing for, the stand is coming two pieces and it's pretty straightforward when it comes to installing it. It's not too challenging for the 65 inch version, but you pretty much have these uh, pieces that you slide right into the slot. You tighten them up with the screws that is included. And other than that, nothing too challenging when it comes to this portion of the installation, but definitely appreciate the QM8, the TCL side when it comes to installation wise, because I have dealt with TVs in the past where it could be quite challenging just to install just a TV stand. But this one, it was pretty easy. Nothing too challenging with this. And it was pretty much just good to go once you get everything assembled. Now for the fun part. Lifting this up and placing it on the stand. I'll tell you right now, it's lighter than I expected. In fact, it's a lot lighter than a Sony Bravia 9. It's definitely manageable for one person to handle, which is a big plus. The lighter weights makes it easier to set up without any extra help. The stand is good, but I will say it feels a little bit wobbly when you touch the TV. So I just want to throw that out there. If anyone is trying to put this TV together and put it on the stand, it is something that you have to be aware of, especially when you are touching the TV and trying to move it around. Now, here comes one of my favorite parts, taking a plastic film off the screen. There's something so satisfying about this. This kind of thing you don't want to rush, and I wish all manufacturers did this. Wink, wink, Sony. This is something that I'm looking at you, and hopefully you'll implement it in your future TVs. Now let's talk about the internal speakers. From the outside, I gotta say, I like how the setup looks. TCI has put some thought into the design, and right here on the back, check it out. They have an integrated Ankyo subwoofer. But the real question is, how does it sound? The Ankyo is a solid name in audio, so I got high hopes for this. The subwoofer should give us some deep rumbling lows that most TV tend to struggle with. Combined with that, the front facing speakers 
and we should get a pretty full sound stage without the need of an extra sound bar at least in theory or how does it sound when it go against the Sony Bravia 9? That's a good question. I'm going to put that out on the test. Let's take a look at the HDMI ports on the QMA. We got two HDMI 2.1 inputs here. One was supporting at 4K at 144Hz and the other at 4K 120. Then we got two more HDMI 2.0 inputs which top out at 4K 60. I'm happy that they included two HDMI 2.1 ports, especially for gamers who want to push that 4K 144Hz refresh rate. But here's where things get a little tricky. The eARC is placed in one of the HDMI 2.0 ports. Now, why does that matter? And if you got an AV receiver with HDMI 2.1, this setup won't fully support it. You'll be stuck with only two HDMI 2.1 ports for everything else, unless you get a switcher. And while that's not a deal breaker, it's something to keep in mind if you're running a full 2.1 system. Now let's talk about the remote. It's solid, nothing premium about it, but it gets the job done. The layout is simple and intuitive. Well, the key functions easily accessible. It's not going to wow you, but for everyday use, it's perfectly fine. I do wish they added a USB-C port to charge the remote instead of relying on disposable batteries. That would have been nice touch to make to feel a bit more modern and eco-friendly. Now let's dive into the setup and TCL using Google TV here. If you're familiar with the Google TV from other brands like Sony or Hisense, you'll feel right at home. It's pretty straightforward and user friendly. Each manufacturer does add their own little touch to make their version of Google TV feel unique. TCL version is clean and somewhat responsive, but at the end of the day, it's the same core Google TV experience you'll find across the board. So if you subbed a Google TV before, you'll have no troubles here. I did have to go through a firmware update for TCL and then go into too much details as in what the firmware is and what it's supposed to do to make the TV better. But that's one thing I had to go through prior to setup but everything else was pretty much straightforward. And I'll go ahead and talk about the UI in a little bit. So for first impression of the TCL QMA, honestly, the picture quality is good. The brightness really stands out. It's noticeably brighter than the Sony Bravia 9. The HDR impact is amazing. The colors look good. Not great, but it looks good. Uh, blooming area is where TCL really shines. I don't see noticeable blooming in certain areas, but I have seen some black crush, which I will cover in a future video. Motion handling is decent, but I have spotted some artifacts in certain areas that uh, that just wanted to point out. In the up conversion, when it comes to SDR content, it's just okay. To be honest, the Sony Bravia 9 or even the Sony X95K do a better job in that department. But overall, for the price point for the TCL QM8, it's really hard to beat. It's doing a great job so far, but I'll be playing around with it more to give it more of a proper review. If you want to see more in-depth comparison and tests, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe button and stay tuned for a full review. Trust me, there's a lot more to dive in. Until next time, I'll see everyone on the next video. Take care.